Well, hello everyone. I uh, thought I would just try uh, uh, one little experiment, actually. I've seen many people um, on the internet, across the YouTube, etc., recommending uh, a fast way to uh, get rid of your cuppings rather than uh, using uh, your standard typical hot knife um, which I uh, either will show you or have already shown you on, on some of the other videos um, they recommend using a hot gun so I thought I'll uh, compare the extraction process or the results um, from doing or between doing a knife cut and doing a, um, a heat gun uh, wax capping removal. Now this frame is um, again fully capped or just about very very close to. Um, it's a beautiful frame once again. Um, my little bees have been working really hard to fill them up really nicely um, and I believe that this is an ideal frame to do the heat extraction on or sorry do the heat cap cappings removal because as you can see it's what what the biggest uh, issue is is that underneath these white cappings there is actually a um, a little bit of air underneath that which allows the heat gun as it's as it runs across to pop the little wax capping as it melts and um, create a little hole whereas on this side on the towards the edges you can probably see right there um, there is no air at all the capping is actually lying on top of the honey um, that will not be able to be opened up by uh, uh, using a heat gun so you either have to then follow up with uh, one of these tools uh, which is your scraper or uh, I don't know what the actual official name is of one of these, I better find out um, so I'll put that into the description but um, essentially it's supposed to be quick easy um, I do have questions about you know the amount of heat that that creates uh, but seeing it's quite quick and um, um, you know just touching the the wax it really shouldn't uh, shouldn't uh, damage the honey at all but you know it's still applying some heat to the upper layer of, of your honeycomb so one way or the other uh, it is heat so you might be reluctant to use that if you are uh, you know after all the enzymes and goodness of your honey which I think um, you should be if you're not, then uh, you know you might need to do a little bit of reading on uh, about the goodness of the enzymes. Um, so, look, I've set it to about seven, and I'm putting it onto a low setting. There's two speeds on mine. Just put it on low, uh, just to see what um, how that goes. You can see the the coil. Uh, I don't want to blow that towards the camera, but there's a coil inside uh, which turns on and off according to the speed and according to the heat wax melts um, around the 70 degree mark so this is well and truly enough to melt the wax cappings and let's see how well they do um, so as you can see this is the result of just a few seconds see how that's opened up really nice and quick it has left uh, these globules of wax but the cap is open on the most part so I believe that the results shouldn't be too bad uh, when extracting it but let's give it a go let's see what happens let's see how much honey is extracted I will actually up the heat a little more just so that I don't have to spend so much time on the actual capping itself so let's do that I hope you can see that okay on the camera. So we do a few passes and you can see how the, the wax is popping. I must say it's certainly a more comfortable 
way to do it. Is it faster? I don't know, maybe, perhaps. Uh, is it complete? Certainly not. Uh, well, certainly nowhere near as complete as you would expect from a knife and, and one of those forks. Um, I don't know, I'm yet to be converted. The ease and speed is appealing, but you can just see that every, say, tenth one, even though it has sort of created a, you know, the wax has melted, it, it has not really popped all the way through. It has not opened at 100%. Um, does that matter? Well, of course not, because the honey will go back to the hive and they'll reuse it, but it is going to reduce your production and at least the quality of your production um, and certainly you are applying that heat so you know that's that's one thing to keep in mind so let's continue I'll speed up the no I won't that was way too fast so another thing too question really is well what did the bees do with this wax you know does that make their job harder because there are these globules um, you know look I'm not convinced I can tell you now I'm not convinced already um, this is not the first time I'm doing it but this was a perfect frame I think with almost no uh, or very few areas where the, where the wax was directly in contact with the honey um, but you know this is certainly not going to be extracted I can tell you that now um, what I might do is I'll do one side scraped and one side not scraped as well so I'll scrape this one just to pop any of those remaining caps um, this is not how I typically use the tool I would normally run it underneath this way and pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. But seeing this, uh, this is already almost completely open. I think just a scrape should be sufficient. So we'll mark that frame uh, now, put that into the extractor. So we've got one side scraped and one side I will leave purely just with the heat gun completed with the heat gun. One downside again of, of this is unless this frame is completely uh, covered and perfectly shaped, I'm talking perfectly shaped, you can see that it is not perfectly shaped. There are bits and pieces uh, you know protruding from the side of the frame. Uh, that can cause issues of course. The bees can build that up further. They uh, may not keep within the width of the frame which then just creates issues as you're pulling up the frames, they rub against each other, the honey droops everywhere. So I like to, you know, when you have the when you have the heat gun, you put on the two two upper and lower uh, frames, and as you're running it along, you create a really lovely straight edge for the bees to work on, and uh, I think it's just a nicer finish. Faster maybe perhaps just a tiny tiny bit I think the results going to be quite disappointing so I don't think I'll be using this um, going forward just based on this example but let's see what the result is like I'll show you in uh, hopefully in just a moment when I extract that 